It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Indianapolis Colts fired head coach Frank Reich yesterday and hired former center All-Pro Jeff Saturday as the team's interim head coach. Now, uh, is Jeff Saturday already on the coaching team? No. He's a, uh, listed as a consultant. He's on ESPN. He works okay. on ESPN. Commentary. So he was, he, he was not part of the Colts uh, he organization. He uh, listed per se. as a consultant. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. <laughs> he, what? Uh, he, um, <laughs> you're I didn't know. But I, I guarantee no, millions no, didn't you're know. you're fine. You, millions. You're great. You're asking good questions. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they just picked him up out of the air. Yeah. Well, no, of course not. But they... Oh, you too, of course. <laughs> why Why wouldn't it be? You normally start it. Thank you, Christy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to start caffeine. caffeining up so I can compete. Good. <laughs> Owner Jim Ursay, he owns the Colts, <laughs> said he'd grown weary of the team's ongoing struggles. <laughs> he would reevaluate the coaching situation after the end of the season. Ah, I see. <laughs> He's quiet now. Did Jeff want the job? You never like to make change, Ursay said, much less during the season. It's not ideal. But he continued, I've seen things go from bad to worse, and I thought it was time to make the switch. Saturday, we'll have less than a week to get acquainted with his staff and implement a plan for Sunday's game at Las, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, just once, I'd like to see a coach who's been fired. Get up there and go, hey, look, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the time I had here. But I got to tell you, if those players had been better, <laughs> I'd still have a job. You know, I did everything, right? He tells the owner to suck it. Those yeah. bricks couldn't catch or throw. There was a kid in the first row. He's in junior high. He would have caught that pass. Yeah. Don't blame me. So, thanks, fellas. While we're at it, I don't like the stadium at the food, okay? The pulled pork isn't like it should be. They were uh, speculating on ESPN yesterday. There's no one on the staff, the first uh, offensive coordinator. Uh, Reich was calling the plays. So they have... Uh, they speculate that Matt Ryan might be calling the plays uh, this wow. Sunday because cool. he's the only one. Think about it. He's you know he's familiar with the uh, nomenclature, if you will, and uh, code words using uh, code words. He sees. Saturday's a member of the Indies Ring of Honor played a key role in, in an agreement to settle the 2011 NFL lockout and has been a fixture in the indie community since his rookie season in 1999. Of course, he played a season in Green Bay with uh, Aaron Rodgers, and he seemed to get along with him. So He's also, I, I um, had occasion once to uh, sit next to um, Bill Pullian, a distinguished uh, football man of great knowledge, if you will. Sure. He told me that Jeff Saturday was one of the brightest players he'd ever worked with. Cool. So he's a smart guy, so we wish him the best. Good also, luck. he has kind, beautiful blue eyes. Yeah, and I like that in the coach. Ooh. I think that's nice. Okay, good. We did a lot hey, of Twink. charity stuff with Jeff. He's a really good human being. If I could offer something, he wears too much moose. Huh. I'm just offering that. <laughs> that's the, this that's might the, be something. Yeah, it I, might be I nothing. I think so. Take it or leave it, Jeff. Yeah. I've got a couple, I got a couple notes. Goals <laughs> in your court. A pomade, a dry shampoo maybe? Maybe a dryer. <laughs> yeah. You're just jealous. He's got a. He's got a great beard. He does have a fine beard. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's on his check. I'll hold my beard up against yeah. Jeff Saturday's yeah. beard. And rub it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That sounds soft. We have, to, we have to at least play our jingle one more. I want you to listen very carefully. Nope, I'm not. Because Peyton Manning is in this jingle at the very end. He's Jeff Saturday. He plays center for the Colts every Sunday. Sometimes Monday. Even Saturday. Jeff is the center of the old line. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that, Willie? He said hiker in the press box on Friday, and everyone gave him a... It's, it's center, Tom. No one says hiker. 
hiker. There's a long snapper sometimes. There's not a hiker. Hiker. Uh, a hiker goes on a trail. Nothing says I'm a giant <laughs> pussy like a hiker. Well, you have to understand, Pat and I know this, it's called poetic license. See, when you have to rhyme with If you were a poet, biker, I, I would let you slide. Oh, it works in the sure. song. But what yeah. Willie's saying is you did it you, you at a do live it football song. game. Did I really do that? Yes. Did and I really do coach, that? Mr. Rogers looked at you like, what the hell are you talking about? It's quite a Bob? speedball he's the hiker out there. <laughs> number 72. By the way, before you ask Josh, his uh, middle name's Bryant. I don't think... Uh, Jeff this Saturday's is, middle name's Bryant. I do not think this is fair. I, uh, <laughs> I asked a very reasonable question. Yeah. Yeah. And millions were concerned. I, I saw millions. the games. I saw the Millions! Game. Hey, look. If, <laughs> if you were watching the Colts this weekend, they should have hired Jeff Sunday. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You see, uh, you see ESPN over here? You see anything like that? Do you hear me do sports? That's yes, I do. Do you really you know think what? I know anything about? I've sports always at all? looked to you as the well, beacon of you're sports. You're living in a fool's paradise. <laughs> I know that okay. now. Okay. I know that now. All right. I'm moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> Move out of here. I will now forever get my sports. You from... too. <laughs> and you three. Yes. He's asking me. He asked me this question off the air. What's the percentage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right away. Right away, I'm checking out. What's the percentage of a star college quarterback? That's what you're mad about. That you're make a, it in the NFL. You're not upset about my question. What's you're still the annoyed percentage? With what kind of a conversation I'm starter sure that, is that? I'm sure that if I asked many other uh, sports people, they'd be able to say, well, let's look at the recent uh, high draft pick quarterbacks, and how many of them have tanked. <sighs> Would you like to go through the interview process of putting me on the sports desk? Do you how remember? No, I'd had that work again. Do you know anything about sports? I said, I watched the NFL. You know, I'm curious as okay, to how he got in. started here. Yeah. 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 And I'm curious as where he went. He was a fan six weeks ago, and now he's a jackass. When did this happen? A fan of what? This show, evidently, but not anymore. <laughs> did you he have hates... a dream about me or something? <laughs> he hates me. Was I cool he hates to you me. In, in your he hates sleep. the show. He hates everybody. I like the way this, I like the way the husband has shifted from me over to Josh. Yeah, this what is horse ass. <laughs> you know, horse horse ass is the same as horse. Hey. We have Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. Have we missed anything? We missed a lot. Two miners who spent nine days trapped in a collapsed South Korean mine survived on... Each other's feet? No. Oh. Instant coffee powder. No, they didn't. The BBC reports oh. the men aged 62 and 56 were stranded nearly 650 feet underground after part of the zinc mine they were working in collapsed. Oh, that's handy, though. Probably didn't get a cold. <laughs> no, yeah, that helped a lot. Or, uh, just lick the wall. Didn't have to worry about <laughs> suntan. Right? Right. The miners <laughs> survived by drinking water that fell from the ceiling and consumed instant coffee mix powder. Wow. I hope, they had a, I hope they immediately dedicated like a poop corner. They, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're doing nothing but eating instant coffee... They're believed to have kept warm by lighting a fire and building a tent out of plastic. The instant coffee's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they were running got, like a when, sieve. When they got them out, they, they interviewed them and they talked for 14 hours straight. Well, and then I said, <laughs> The men were finally rescued November 4th and were taken to a local hospital where they were said to be in stable condition. And could drinking beer in your 20s and 30s... Oh. Oh. The best part of waking up it's not waking up in a mine. <laughs> but I'd stop the whole show for that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, terrifying. Yeah. Two you guys stuck uh, underground. You won't see me getting stuck underground. You won't I see me. No, me neither. Either. I, won't, I won't go down there. I won't either. It's one of my bucket list items. To really? Stuck, stuck underground, yeah. Yeah? Would yeah. you go? Would you go into a cave? I've been in many. I'd like to contribute many? to that. Yeah. You've done that spelunking thing? Yeah. You I've get done that it. on your stomach? I've had like, you know, your traditional tours in a cave where you're kind of walking on a path. And then I've done actual spelunking where you have to you squeeze hook through? yourself to ropes and squeeze through. Oh, really? I can, see, really? what, what if there's a minor earthquake while you're doing that and those two sections of rock decide to join hands? It was nerve-wracking. It was. Hmm. There were times where you really had to slide through and... Help each other pull through holes. How big is this yes. hole you're going through? The one was 
I mean, you if it weren't for the mud, I don't know that we would have gotten through. What if you don't make it? Can they pull you out the other side? Yeah, yeah. And they were like, just don't worry about this. Just get through it. <laughs> don't worry <laughs> about it. And it was worth it. it on the other side. It was this huge open yeah. thing. I forget what they, they called it, like the cathedral or something. And then there was, it was a big lake in there. Well, how, so did you have there... to go back out the way you came yeah, in? Yeah. So was there someone on the other side so they could pull you through if something went wrong? Only temporarily than that other person. It was one of the other uh, tour guides or whatever came through See, as that well. to me is the problem. Yeah, no, no, no. We, yeah, well, well not, there were many groups, so another group would have been like, hey, it's been four hours. We better get in there. But Josh got through, though, through the squeeze and through the little hole. See, that's where he's going. No, it's not. I, I, I'm waiting. Me too. We're all waiting. Did not ask that. It was, it, it, it was a tight squeeze for me, maybe not for everyone, if that's what you... I did not say that. No, no, go do ahead. They, do they, uh, go do ahead. They, you said the mud. Do they lube you up? No, but I but the mud kind of acted as a lube as well. You know, I could never do it. And there were like these weird blind lizards down there. We saw all kinds of things. They're blind? Yeah, they don't need to see. Oh, they no uh, light. They carrying around little canes and stuff. And yeah, yeah. I put blind? I put a tiny coin in one of their tin cups. <laughs> Georgia. No, it was great. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I'd do it again. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, let's thanks. send them down in the mine. Who's who's with me? Oh no! The, what, the scariest part was they're like, "Don't walk off alone," because there are holes that just appear everywhere, and we don't need you falling down some shaft. No. <laughs> but how? Do, I mean, it had to be dark as night down there. Yeah, oh yeah, dark. we had we had the helmet things. Oh and, uh, yeah. yeah. Huh. Okay. No, great. How, how many people were in your group? Eight, something like that. Uh, how many people were in your group? After five, uh -huh. <laughs> one does need a snack. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're glad they got the miners out. Which one of us will you eat first if we're all trapped, Tom? <sighs> Christy. Yeah, Christy. Gotta taste the best. There ain't no meat. You take care there of yourself. There ain't no meat no. on them bones. Yeah. I'm not eats well. Good health. I'm gonna eat your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start with your neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got there he is there's kostaki economopolis uh, joining us from his apartment <laughs> in his the waiting room of purgatory uh, hey kostaki how are you I'm good. Did you, was that a miter reference? You don't get that often. No, you're welcome. All right. Well, now, what have you been paying attention to in the world of the NFL? Because I know that's your uh, your sphere of interest. Oh, if you're a Packers fan, this might be a good time to go pee because it's uh, the next couple of minutes are going to be brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to the Packers? Losing to the Lions is the worst thing to happen to Wisconsin since lactose intolerance. <laughs> 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 uh, the Packers are so bad right now. Brett Favre is embarrassed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's so sad. He's flying his junk at half staff. Half. <laughs> 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 Things are so bad for the Packers. They're bringing in Favre to handle the finances. That's, that's bad. <laughs> and he, he's got a lot of funding. <laughs> and Kanye is going to handle public relations. It's <laughs> bad over there. <laughs> rough. <laughs> Things are rough. <laughs> they, called him, they called him yay. <laughs> <laughs> it might be time for Elon Musk to buy the Packers and make them worse. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> 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 Suicide watch in Wisconsin. Confiscate the string cheese, everybody. It's brutal. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> when a Packers fan slits his wrist, does he use a cheese knife? It's tough. It's. Mm. I've never tried ayahuasca, but watching the Packers offense makes me want to puke repeatedly into a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Packers are three and six. How is Green Bay's record worse than Aaron Rodgers' haircut? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are saying this is Aaron Rodgers' worst game. I still think that's his dating game. That's his worst game. <laughs> Maybe his family game. Uh, <laughs> certainly his haircut game and science game are not very strong. Uh, <laughs> The Packers are a Cinderella story, but only the part where it turns midnight and everything goes to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is struggling so much, Pat McAfee has replaced him as the Tuesday guest with Jordan Love. <laughs> that's, his, uh, that's his back. That's tough. That's the back. <laughs> He's, yikes. Yeah. 
To all the sad Packers fans, I'd like to say one thing. Double chin up. There's always bacon. All right. <laughs> oh. Double chin up. Wow. That Come on. That's kind of stucky. He makes friends everywhere. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> you, know, you, you know it gets bad when he does the, come on. Come on. Come on. It's comedy. By the way, the Bears quarterback, Justin Fields, had a game. He ran for 178 yards. Yeah. There's man. a man who's trying to escape Chicago. He's, <laughs> he's That's amazing. <laughs> And now, Kostaki, I, I want to explain real quick um, what you are doing here. Um, you oh, yeah. have a very special place that people can go to participate in uh, NFL sports comedy. Tell me more. Yeah, it's at All Pro Lines on all the big major uh, social media platforms. Come join us. Just get a football joke in your feed. And if you want to chime in and write some tags and jokes with me, you're welcome. And you got to check out Mini Helmet Theater. I just posted it. It's the <laughs> dumbest thing I do. I love them. I, I love them too. It, it closes on a joke that I definitely can't do on the radio, so come check that out today. Uh, it's fun. It's it's uh, it's definitely the silliest thing I've ever done. But. Now, when you sit down to write jokes, do you immediately start with the Atlanta Falcons, your favorite team? Yes, traditionally, yeah, yeah. Uh, they've when it, whenever I at the end of the season, sometimes I'll like I'll search by team. There's always like a hundred times the number of jokes on the Falcons than any other. Team. Mm. I didn't run any this week. They're kind of they're kind of in the middle now, right? Those teams aren't as much fun to joke about. Usually they're at the bottom, so hopefully they'll uh, they'll either win or lose a lot more going forward. So we'll see. What is the biggest buzz right now in the NFL? Uh, boy, I, you know Tom Brady is always the big story, and you know this year has been kind of a gift yeah, to, what's, what's to the wrong? comedy gods. What's wrong with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers? And how much and Aaron Rodgers is is longer, just hard to believe, yeah. right? Um, Tom see, couldn't score a touchdown to the last ten seconds. I was wondering if Giselle got cussed of the end of the end zone. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but what he said there was, I mean, he got cut off. He said Tom, did, Tom Brady didn't score to the last 10 seconds, Christy, because Giselle got custody yeah, in the end zone. Yeah, I saw that. The, uh, very, this is a man going through a divorce right Yeah, now. I know. Uh, We've all are, been there. Seahawks are unexpectedly great, and Russell Wilson yes, I yeah. love that. tends to bite it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Tom Brady, by the way, is also part owner of a professional pickleball team, which begs the question, how many years of being the best quarterback of all time, of all time does it take for you to buy your own pickleball team? Why do you have how, to chip in? How like, much does that cost? <laughs> it can't if you be a had lot. asked me if I could afford a pickleball team, I would have guessed yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, no, you're uh, close. Uh, you both are very close. Uh, Think uh, of Tom. But boner uh, frog. <laughs> <laughs> Alligator frog. <laughs> Big dick <laughs> frog. Big Big Bufo Alvarius. Hey. Bufo. Uh, it's the Bufo uh, uh, Alvarius. Yes. There it is. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That is Look old. at him. Bufo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to want to kiss my bufo? <laughs> you know what, what happened to him when he was in? I'm going to say sixth grade. Somebody he did found something. something in a book. Yeah, and he started laughing. And he wants to keep. Now, are these uh, are these the western frogs? Or are these from East Bufo? <laughs> Whatever the hell. Sonoran Desert Toad, Colorado no. River Toad. Okay. They have prominent East paratoid Bo glands uh -huh. that secrete a, pot a potent toxin that can make you sick if you handle the frog or get its poison in your mouth. But. Or but? Or but. A substance found in these toxins can be dried into crystals and smoked in a pipe, producing an intense experience generally lasting 15 to 30 minutes. Or you could just do normal drugs. A photographer, <laughs> though, died in one episode in Spain in 2020 after smoking this poison, so... Be on the lookout. Remember that? We had that story. Look at this, this guy. First of all, who thought of that? Who thought of scraping an animal of some secretion, drying it, and then smoking it? Ah, uh, boy. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody with a lot of time on their hands. Boy, yeah, what are the ones that didn't work out? Well, huh? they can't talk to us because they're dead. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they croaked. Oh, oh, thank you. Right there. Thank you, guys. It was right there. Yeah. For your support and your uh, <laughs> appreciation of that. Mama told me not to laugh. No. Mama told me not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama told me not to laugh. That ain't funny, son. <laughs> Whiskey with your water. He's selling the hell out of it. I'll give him that. Christy loved it. Hated <laughs> croaked. No, but it's so stupid. Of I like course. So. Mama told me not to laugh. <laughs> you see, that's a toad joke. Pat, yeah, really we newbie? got it. You thought we didn't get it for a second there? <laughs> I understand that. Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker. If you just like that video, then do your part. Like and subscribe. You have to. It's state law.